Hello and welcome to Real Talk, Neighbor's talk show where we get to know members of Neighbor. I'm Shannon Livingston, which y'all should know by now, and today I am with the Antis Media Group and I have Dave, Karen, and Jim. So Dave, you are first to my left, so I'm going to start with you. Plus your bio is on top, that makes okay. it easy for me, not a lot of work. Uh, we were talking a little bit about how you got into this real estate based business. First of all, what exactly does your company do? Because we have about four different categories of services that you provide in real estate. So we work primarily with residential and commercial as well though. And we do photography for the homes. We do video, we do drone and we do 3D services. So those are primarily what we offer. And 3D services, that is where you can really map out the whole interior and exterior of the house so that people that are looking online can really see what it looks like, correct? Yeah, so during COVID, that was really helpful because that gave you a chance to be open house without having to be there. Mm -hmm. So they can get on there anytime of the day or night and look at the home. And Karen, you are the lead photographer, and more importantly, I think you're also in charge of Dave. Yes. <laughs> uh, so that is a big job. And you um, came to the business, it is a, a family owned and operated business. Can you tell me a little bit about how it started and how you got involved? Sure, our daughter-in-law Aubrey started it in Orange County, California about 10 and a half years ago. And I don't wanna take Dave's story away from it, but he got involved part-time. And when we decided to move down here, he had this brilliant idea for me to change careers and become a photographer. So I had no idea that I would enjoy it as much as I am enjoying it. And I've learned a lot and it's, it's been re very rewarding. So Dave, she wants you to tell your own story. So we'll, we'll come back to you. <laughs> we'll come back to you uh, also, Jim. But what is your story? How did you come to this business? So I'm, I'm, in a, I'm an engineer by degree and I spent biggest part of my career in manufacturing and, and, uh, and, cr and corporate consulting, but that involves travel, you're gone all the time. And so about six years ago, my son came to me and said, can you help my wife part-time grow her business in, in California? It's real estate photography, of course I knew that. And so I started helping her and- On the business side. On the business side. Mm -hmm. And helping her grow the company and, and ramp it up and, and, and go outside Orange County into the neighboring counties, San Diego and LA. And the process, it got big enough that I was like, I don't really want to travel like this anymore. And so I made a career change and uh, got into doing this full time. And it looks like it's a lot of fun. Is it fun to be out there with the drone and all the equipment? Karen is shaking her head yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, I uh, went from overseeing it, managing it, to now playing with all the toys, and I, I enjoy it a lot. Yeah, Didn't yeah. think I would, but I do. I've worked with you um, on a shoot, and it is just not only a great time, but really fascinating to see how fast they can go when, and just the span of the shot. So, Jim, you do the 3D photography. Is that your part yeah, in the company? Yeah, I do the 3D and the Matterport, and then sometimes drone work, too. And tell me, um, what is the, it's Matterport? One of them is Matterport. Uh, it is, it's more detailed. Uh, where the way I understand it, I don't know a whole lot about it, I just click the button. But <laughs> it will actually build a blueprint of the house and they can actually get square footage measurements off of all these pictures. It's very involved because you have to, you have to move the, the camera every six foot of the whole room. Wow. Uh, like a diagram and it takes scans 360 in each spot. So it takes quite a while to do it, but it's, it's, really, it's really cool when it gets done because it looks like a dollhouse. When, mm -hmm. you, when you go back and look at it. So what is your background that you're able to bring such precision to this, this job and get it done? Uh, <laughs> I didn't really bring any experience. <laughs> uh, fortunately, it's easy to do once you're trained how to do it. Uh, and I have really good friends here that, that are very uh, tolerant of anything that I mess up. <laughs> well, but, go, no, go ahead. So I try not to mess up. But yeah, that's, I, I didn't really bring any experience. Uh, I actually had bought a drone about the time we met, I believe, and uh, Dave found out and said, hey. <laughs> so that's where my association with, with Dave and Karen started. Gotcha, gotcha. And I know that you provide services not just in Southwest Florida, but also in the Detroit area and um, Southern California. 
Is Naples your favorite out of all of those places? Of course, that's why we live here. Right. <laughs> and what brought you to the area? Why did you decide to move here? Well, um, Karen, one of Karen's best friends is a pastor down here at a church, and uh, we have a lot of friends that moved down here from Michigan, so we decided to move down too. And then we came down here, we thought, why not open up the real estate media business down here as well? And that's what we did. You sure came at the right time. Yeah. Have, have you been super busy? Yes, we're really busy. So what do you think sets you apart from other photographers or videographers um, maybe that offer a more traditional service? Do you have equipment or skills or something that other services don't? So we like to say that our work is bespoke, which is a British word, which means basically it's customized, you know, so custom tailored. And so we really try to get to know our customers. And so we have a very fast turnaround time compared to our, a lot, some of our competition. Uh, our quality remains high. We stand by our work if we have to go back. But we really try to learn the customer and learn their needs so that we are able to go in and continue to give them the level of quality they expect because they're not all the same. Mm -hmm. So. And Karen, as lead photographer, how do you customize uh, something like a photograph or a photograph package for the customer? How do you know that you're doing the best you can for their business? Well, typically we try to do a shot where you can see it outside the window. So we blend those two. I do one with a flash, one without. And like, for example, one of our biggest clients this week, she said, they had a, a second story to the home. She said, every view outside this, this home uh, um, has a roof, another roof view, and she didn't want to see outside those windows. So, of course, we just close the blind, make it faster and easier, but we just, we try to listen, and now going forward, I'm going to look for that when I'm shooting her homes. That's a great point, mm -hmm. great point. And Jim, what has been your experience coming in, learning this highly technical skill, as we have learned, um, and working with your friends in this area? What have you learned about the real estate industry? Uh, it's 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 fascinating. It's uh, obviously fast paced from where I see it, and I'm not involved in all the nitty gritty. But uh, the the neat thing for me is I get to see a lot of nice homes. Mm -hmm. I mean, some really nice homes. We are uh, really blessed in this area, oh aren't goodness. we? Yes, yes. So that's I think that's the probably the, one of the most interesting things with doing the the job is just getting to see all the different communities and the and the different styles of homes mm -hmm. and the, and the uh, I mean, because we, we cover the full gamut from a small ranch style, I call it ranch, I'm from the Midwest, mm -hmm. to these really, I call them mansions. <laughs> they are, so, they're mansions. Yeah, and it, and, it, and it's, it's very fascinating. So I have to be honest, sometimes when I'm prepping the house to shoot, I get so distracted with the decor. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm like, wait, what, how, what, and I take pictures, like, can I copy this when I get home, or I know. some artistic people that just is so unique, you know, and it's, it's just, I have to remember, oh wait, I have to be professional, and I have to get back to my job, because it's just so interesting and fascinating to see what, the way people live. I totally agree with you, and I went into real estate for just that reason. I was taking my walks at night so that I could look into people's oh, homes yeah. to see how it was decorated, <laughs> and my son said, that is very creepy and inappropriate, stop doing that. So I got my real estate license <laughs> instead. Yeah. Job. So now I'm an affiliate uh, with Nabor. I'm not an agent, an affiliate like you. And I know that we serve on the video uh, task force together, Dave, but you're also um, in other committees. So what else are you doing at NAPOR? So I'm on the Community Involvement Committee, which has been a lot of fun um, because you feel like you're kind of giving back to mm -hmm. the community. Um, neighbors have some really good causes, some really good charity they support, which I love. And then also I'm on the ex Expo Committee, and that one we're, we're on hiatus because we just had the Expo. Great job this year. Great job. <laughs> and we're ready to start planning next month for next year. And what does serving on a committee, because time is valuable, and your skill set is valuable, and we sure do appreciate you helping us here at NABOR uh, by sharing it with us. But what do you get in return from your membership? Obviously, you get relationships, but I, I followed the example of my daughter-in-law. She got very involved with OCAR, which is Orange County Association of Realtors, which is another excellent group, similar not, to Neighbor. Not as cool of a name, though. Not as <laughs> no. cool of a right? name, no, okay. no. Okay, yeah. okay. Definitely a better name, Neighbor. 
And so I just followed suit when I got here. I got involved on, uh, in Nabor immediately. I also got involved with the one in Lee County, uh, but uh, I found Nabor much more, um, much more a better group to work with, so I stuck mm -hmm. with that one. Um, and that's where I, I focus my effort. And so and it's been good for us, very good for us. Well, I think we're really trying to make a lot of changes here at Nabor, including video and some more technology in the video, mm -hmm. um, just like this talk show that we're doing and trying to get to know our members and, and our affiliate members and make sure that people know exactly what you provide and what you're getting out of being involved with Nabor. Uh, you know, I also serve on a couple of committees and just like you, I love the networking, this show in itself, right? Hopefully somebody will see and call you and um, hire you, and then you'll take me to a nice dinner. Yes, of course. <laughs> there you go. I like Italian. I also <laughs> like okay. steak. Okay. Just no vegetarian Easy. stuff, please. <laughs> and no Indian in. food. I, I'm trying, but I'm not used to the curry yet. I, I can't do it. <laughs> so what else should we know about this? Family started, family operated, and you are officially family now. I think they had to adopt you they or did. something so that yeah. we can say it's family <laughs> operated. You seem okay with that, though. Oh, Your yeah, old I've, family I've has let you a, go. I've actually got a bedroom at their place. That's <laughs> they're very nice. I might be uh, competing with you for that that soon. They are some of the best friends you could ever have, and I and I got to know them as friends before I started helping them out, and they're, they're the best. I really do feel that that way and it does feel like a family owned business and then like you are friends with people. Do you think that that makes a difference in the way that you service your clients? Yeah, I, I definitely do um, because um, first of all, we're not stepping on each other, we're not competing with each other, we're working together, although families don't always do that, but I guess it's better. But, <laughs> but, and we're, we're, um, we, we work close together and we have each other's backs, so we watch out for things we may have missed. And just, um, we've mostly recruited by people we know um, in all three regions, not just Florida, uh, and it, it pays off. I think it's, um, you can find good people on Indeed and other things like that, but uh, not necessarily always. You can't character and uh, it's hard, it's hard to find. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And what is it like working uh, with family? Is that, you know, <laughs> Dave makes it sound somewhat not like a blood sport, uh, but what is your experience, Karen? Well, Dave and I get along so well. Like, COVID was a gift to us that we got to, you know, quarantine together and have all that quality time, but... I can see you get excited yeah, about it even now, remembering too, it. Yeah, but we get along well. I mean, we have our moments where, you know, we're mm -hmm. normal people, but I we just... It, we enjoy it and we you know we're we bounce ideas off of each other we talk things through and always looking to get better so it's it's very enjoyable yeah now jim you were talking about some of the houses that that you do and you do primarily offer residential services some uh, developments and, and commercial stuff do you see more residential or more commercial development in the future for your company which one? Yes. Resi All of yes. it? <laughs> yes, but obviously the volume is going to be residential, and the volume is always going to be around the medium price home because that's where, that's where it's at. So when you design your service, your service needs to be focused around what the medium price home is going to be because we'd all like to shoot the $5 million houses mm -hmm. and do photo shoots there, but, you know, not everybody lives in those kind of homes. So unless you really understand what, how to deal with a medium price home, then you're going to have a hard time being able to, to really make a difference. Yeah, absolutely, so. absolutely. And what do you think, um, I, I know all of the research suggests that the more pictures, the better the pictures, the more money you get from the transaction. Do, do you see that actually happening? Do you feel like the service you're providing isn't just cool, but brings more money to the transaction? So we, we've done a lot of studies on that. It's interesting you asked that and for years now because I'm a statistician engineer. Mm -hmm. So I know that so, I read your bio and that's why I asked. <laughs> oh, and so we, we did a lot of studies on the data. And so we, we figured out early on um, that um, before COVID, um, but COVID has only accentuated this, that photography will definitely add value. Professional photography will add value to your price. But if you want to drive emotion, 
you need more than just photography, okay? Uh, 3D will add the detail person a lot to go and see all the nooks and crannies and what imagine and understand and measure things out. But if you want to drive a motion, you want to really drive a price on a house, then you need to at least have drone because a drone gives you a chance to see the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Now that's motion, right? You yeah. feel like a little bird coming yeah. in to see it, right? I can live here. Those we'll, flying dreams you know. that everybody has. Exactly. It's like you're recreating that right. magic. How far is Mercado? How far is the beach? All those things become in play. How far am I from the school? That goes the drone. And then when you add video, you drive real emotion. Mm -hmm. And emotion drives price in a house. So if you want to drive emotion, you need to have video. You need to go towards video. And we're actually seeing houses, listings, staying on the market for more than two, three hours now, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's becoming even more important. Right, right. Anything else that you would like to share about Antis Media? Um, I don't know, anything you want to say, mm -hmm. Jim? As a, as a person that's not directly involved in their business, I can tell you that Antis Media goes above and beyond. Everything I've seen them do is first class, and if it's not first class, you go back and do it again, because they have a standard. All, all anybody that works for them, that taking pictures or, or, or drone work or whatever, it has to be a certain way or it's not accepted, which I think is pretty cool. That's how it should be. And, and yeah. as, a, as a new person to the whole thing, when I go online and look at other pictures, I'm thinking, well, Karen didn't shoot that, because <laughs> <laughs> there's a difference in the quality yeah. by, by far. You know, I do have one more question. Do you work, since you have all of those measurements of the home, when you're doing that interior 3D uh, photography, do you work with furniture stores and uh, flooring stores, people like that, since you have those, those measurements? So we have um, ventured into that space several times, but never really done more than one off. So did a couple in California. It would make sense. Mm -hmm. um, good, I'm glad that was a good question. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because it's, it's, you know, have a Matterport camera, then I can take that, I can render that into a furniture. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little more involved than that. But, but maybe but, on the horizon? Oh, it's definitely on the horizon, because it's a, um, we did it four years ago with a, with a company that had several restaurant chains and they were trying to put the same kitchen concept forward. And we did it with them. We went in and mapped out the whole thing with a Matterport, because a Matterport, is 99.6%, 99.5% accurate. Mm -hmm. So if I scan this room, I'm going to be really close to the actual dimensions. It's not going to like throw up an extra wall or anything no. like that. No, your other scans, like if you use a, a Zillow scan, it's not as good. It's still good. Mm -hmm. It's more like 90, 95%, you know, but still, um, but if you were Matterport, you know, it, uh, I would just say also Matterport with builders or with homes that are older, so older homes, they have no existing blueprints and floor plans. It becomes very important because it oh, may be okay. your only floor plan. So in Los Angeles County, for example, there's a lot of older homes. Mm -hmm. Or remodels, and, maybe. Or remodels. They don't have, and here the, we've done remodels and where we, we shoot the whole house with a Matterport only because they don't have a floor plan because it got remodeled five times. That is a great point. So. I'm so excited about what you do. I, I was telling you that I looked at your website and it is just amazing to me the technology that is available now. Mm -hmm. And I think the real estate market is so lucky to have it because it allows consumers to really make a, a more educated, informed purchase. That is a, mm -hmm. a huge chunk of their, their money and their life and mm -hmm. we want it to be right. Right. We want to all work together for the smooth transaction, right? Yep. Close that transaction smoothly. That's exactly. what it's all about. Well, thank you so much for coming in and being a part of Neighbors Real Talk. I hope that y'all had fun. We did. Thank you yeah. so we much. We did. I Thanks can see so Jim had a great time. He's down there beaming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And thank you for joining us with Neighbors Real Talk. We'll see you soon.